Here I have a real project, and let's see how long it takes to run a whole test suite. And as you can see, it takes over three minutes compared to some of the other projects that I've been on. Some of them took over an hour. So three minutes is not a big deal. But nevertheless, if I was writing a code uh, and then I wanted to do run tests, and this becomes really annoying. I'm always looking for some way to uh, speed up my development. But there's an even bigger issue. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a simple class and I'm just going to write a test that doesn't do anything. So let's see what happens when I run this test. It took 8 seconds total, right? Uh, close to 9. And it didn't have anything. So why is that? This is because when you load spec helper in your spec file, it loads your gem and everything when you actually start your test, for even if it's just that one individual test. So what I do now is I use Zeus gem. It preloads entire application stack and does a really good job of updating as I update the code. And unlike Spork, I could actually test my models. So let me start the Zeus server. Let me go back and run that simple spec for that particular simple service using Zeus rather than using regular normal rspec command. And as you can see, it took less than a second. It comes back immediately. And this is a big improvement. Next, let me show you my configuration and how I do it. So now I have a, a opened up a spec file. And noticed from the Vim, I could execute the test immediately. And let's see that again. Just like that. So the way I do it is, if you look at my vimrc file, notice I mapped uh, leader r, and basically it goes out to the command line, clears the screen, and then does a Zeus rspec and for that particular file. And this is allowing me to do real test-driven development.